I always dreamed of going abroad, so I got myself a scholarship to the fancy boarding school in Switzerland, went there, made friends, and then decided to leave when COVID started. Now I finally get a chance to say goodbye, but first I should probably say hello. Hey guys, I was kind of worried about all of this, but like I arrived, I'm in Geneva, and I don't know, I'm just so happy to be here. At first I didn't know whether to make it a vlog, but I think I will because I sense a good vibe going on. At the end of June, I went on a plane and flew to Geneva. The graduation of my boarding school friends took place in a town in the mountains where the school is and looked something like that with a part of it happening online. On day one, I was in Geneva alone for a while, so I walked around and explored places which basically looked cool. You guys see the color of this water? It's like insane and it's moving so fast. Okay, I just came into my room and it's just like a small room in a hostel. It doesn't even have a bathroom because I have a shared bathroom, but it is absolutely fine for me. Oh, we even have the mirror. And this is the local artist store, very pretty, very expensive. This is the second hand store. And then I finally met with my friends and we went on a pizza together. It was very fun. So nice to meet you guys. And after that, we went to the beach with Paulina. Smallest lift. No, turn it down. Like, look, it's like a square. Guys, look, this is, that's it. Like, that's this it. is like a metric. <laughs> like, that's, there's no space. It's a fashion statement. Hey, guys. Uh, so, so, uh, Elsedonia. Uh, this is Zara. I also have this is Zara. Oh, oh, you see, you see, I'm telling you, it's fashion. This, no idea. This is a difficult hair, and uh, my problems are from my parents. <laughs> you can't control, bro. <laughs> then we walked around, appreciated the fountain, and met up with some friends. And I have absolutely no footage of the rest of the day because I sometimes forget to vlog, so, I mean, you just have to believe me. And the top? Hey guys, it's day two, and. Today we're going to Grand Montana. Well, we didn't, but we went to see another place closer to Geneva. But first it was the morning and I went to meet up with others and have a breakfast. And actually they are living at the like in the worst area in Geneva, which you can't really see because it sort of looks normal. Uh, but like there are a lot of prostitutes and like drug dealers here apparently. On our way we saw a giant panda bear and then we had an amazing brunch in the place that only serves vegan breakfast. Oddly specific though predictably delicious. And then I asked some of my ex-schoolmates to introduce themselves so please meet Marta, Paulina and Victor. Hi I'm Marta, we are now in Geneva and I also went to Lerza. <laughs> <laughs> with Natalia and uh, yeah now I go to NYU in Abu Dhabi yeah very good place. and what you are also going to yes, NYU I'm in NYU but I'm in New York City and I also studied with Natalia in the region and right now we're having like a brunch in this amazing place called The Life it's really good <laughs> yeah hi hi I'm Victor what's up I just graduated uh, from a school in Switzerland. Yeah, um, he's also from Poland. I am. And she is too. Unfortunately, yeah, but yeah. it's not a great place. Don't go there. Yeah. If you can go somewhere else, go somewhere else. I'm going to Oxford, for yeah, example. Yeah, no, now that he's leaving, yeah. yes. Yeah. Thank you, Victor. Okay, so today is Sunday, so many things are closed, and that's why we decided to go on a little trip. We took a train to a place called Gonto, from which you can see the mountains better and like everything basically looks better. Here I look like a total psychopath, but don't worry about me, I'm fine. I mean, a psychopath would probably say the same thing, but like whatever. Uh, after we came back, I went on a run and I don't know where all that psychopathic energy came from, but yeah. The next day we hopped on a train again and this time for a longer ride. And guys, I actually love Swiss trains. They're so easy to get into, they're quiet, fast, and then there are the views. They basically go around the Lake Geneva. For those of you who don't get why I'm going to Caen, it's because the school I went to is situated in Caen. So yeah, that's the reason. Okay, but... 
Oh look, that's the place, girls, where you lived for what, like four years? Yeah, I lived there for four years. Like I have a picture from that window, everyone. Like a second window up. That was your room? Yeah. I mean, we changed it quite often, but still. Yeah. Let's take a peek inside. Yeah, it's like totally empty. So I like think it's like a parking slash yeah, rest it's area. That's nice. It's like your area. And that's the junior school. I am oh, and this is Cobb. This is the place I spent most of my time outside school. <laughs> We took a little walk around the town, which was kind of weird after a year of my absence there. For example, I remember this building in the process of construction and now it is finished. This is a hotel that always intrigued me. It's made from like wood, but it looks very fancy. After the walk, we decided to hike for a couple of hours since we were in the mountains already and the trails carved into the rock and the waterfalls were probably my favorite part. Hey guys, that's Molina. <laughs> I can't stand up. You can't? Okay, I'll help you. We came back using the funicular, which I never used before, and well, wow. <laughs> Okay, so now we're going out and we have the wine, we have Pauline. And Pauline is always late, right? Yeah. House where, where are we coming out? So we're in the house of Cameron. So yeah, we first visited a friend, but what was even more special about that night was the Euro football match. And yeah, you heard me right, football. <laughs> Switzerland was playing with France and it was everything Geneva was focused on that night. On the streets, in the houses, in the bars. Score, France, Swiss, everyone checking right now. Free, free everyone. Still oh free. shit, still now. And Switzerland won, if you haven't figured that out. And I have never seen anything like that in my life. Cars were honking, there was champagne on the street, and of course it was very, very crowded. And unfortunately, it was also time to say goodbye. Hmm. We're gonna see each other sometime, but yes. It was so nice to meet you. The next day it was only me and Polina. Guys, I bought this very cute bag. I mean, yeah, I love it. Then she went shopping and I accompanied her as I've never been to any of these luxurious and expensive stores. So these videos are basically for all of you who haven't entered Dior yet. We have to wait, although there's nobody in the shop. What surprised me is that there's barely anyone inside, the security guard limits the number of people who can enter, and then the staff shows you all the products you want to see, you don't really take them off the shelves yourself. And also, after some time, they ask you if you want to drink something, they're very nice to you, I mean, it's a pleasant experience. Look, I'm at the bio shop and you can slide down. <laughs> I got very tired of just walking, so I came here, I read a bit. Look at this place. It's so cool, I'm gonna show you outside. Yeah, then I spent some time on my own. My trip was coming to an end. I have a few thoughts to share, by the way. That's probably my favorite thing about the lake. Like the, the water runs so fast. Anyway, traveling alone, kind of weird like yes you feel alone but you don't kind of feel lonely I only feel like I can just be a silent observer of the life happening around me and I can really pay attention to what other people are doing to their lives and I don't know I always try to pretend that I'm the local the other thing I've been thinking about is how really I feel about all of this and I don't know this is kind of confusing to many of you, but I went to the Swiss school 
for a year. I had a scholarship there and after that one year I resigned due to the different reasons. I mean, I, to kind of sum it all up, I didn't feel at ease. I didn't feel like it was the right place for me and also it wasn't motivating. Sometimes I regret it, sometimes I don't. I guess like a choice is a choice. Whatever you do, it's probably gonna be fine. And it was in my case. It wasn't what I expected because of the COVID, you know, I just sat at home for a year. But I also appreciated other things. Like I found a passion in gymnastics. I became really close with my sister, with my boyfriend, and I don't regret it. So if any of you is struggling with a choice at this point, just know that whatever you decide, it's it's probably gonna be fine. But I feel really weird because for this year, I sort of lived in, in the illusion, like thinking it wasn't over. Not that I wanted to come back, of course it wasn't possible, but like I had a contact with people that were there. I heard the stories, I saw the photos and I still felt like a part of the school like a part of switzerland i guess and then i came here and now it is now that i realize that it's actually over and i don't know how i feel about it i guess i'm kind of sad i i'm definitely happy that i had the opportunity to even discover this i don't want to say goodbye but it's good that i have to because now i can actually move on stop thinking about it go to uni and you know now it's over for everyone not just me so it's kind of easier yeah. i feel like we're a youtube maybe hi it's the sixth video you're gonna see me in her youtube video because i spent two last days with her so like in the evening i met with my friends for the last time so we sat in a bar for a Bye. bit and we just talked goodbye i'll tell you goodbye nice year Bye. <laughs> So basically today I'm alone in Geneva and that's actually nice because I'm gonna do some sightseeing and first I'm just gonna sit down somewhere and like see how I can get to the places and then I'm gonna show you around Geneva. But first, that's a supermarket. I'm acting as if I've never seen one, but maybe I didn't. Cause here you can put a muesli together, you can uh, have a fruit salad that you construct yourself, you can buy decorative flowers, and they have a very serious confectionery going on there. This is the Anglican church. It looks pretty old, but it's actually not that old. It's like from the 19th century or something like this. I don't know why I read it's an American church. It's not. I love islands, so I went to an island. I'm like low-key confused, but I like it. I think that Geneva is trying to convince me to stay. And you can like go up and up. It's amazing. And that's a giant flower clock. Uh, it actually had, it's like the biggest or the second biggest clock in the world. Um, yeah then i went to a parking with an archaeological site D did you hear that archaeological parking archaeo parking <laughs> i also climbed a church tower all just to get a pretty panorama I also went to the park where they have giant chess games going on and as I cannot play chess, I just took photos. <laughs> I also went to the place called Plaine de Plan Palais, which is basically a big flat surface. There was also a cool skate park, but the moment I started filming, they stopped performing the best tricks, so you just have to believe me. I found a flea market, went to a couple of secondhand stores, bought a skirt, and started heading to the airport. So as somebody who spent so much time on MUNs, I decided to visit. Apparently you can't really go there right now. And even if I'm late, <laughs> it's already closed, but it's fine. Like I saw the United Nations. I really have no idea how to explain it, but these are sheep, I can, I can smell them. <laughs> Look how cute. 
it seems like the reason they're here is that they help to maintain the area I don't know what exactly that means but let's just enjoy them <laughs> there's also some palace here near the goats oh I was supposed to go to the airport um, yeah nice for me guys, that was a trip that helped me get at peace with myself and I hope you liked this video. If you want to see more like that, I have a vlog playlist and a playlist on Switzerland. So see you in my other videos. Bye. Also, thanks to all my friends who agreed to be in this video. See you soon, hopefully.